just going to walk us through how to create this sales activities report that includes all the sales activities you can see here, including LinkedIn messages, meetings, SMS, postal mail, WhatsApp, etc. And so I'll, I'll walk us through how we're going to create this. But the reason why is because, as you know, some of our clients have been complaining that this out of the box completed activities report is kind of useless and I kind of agree with them. Uh, this is the one that they will get under reporting uh, sales or if they've still got the old reporting menu, it'll be sales analytics. And the problem they're having with it is because it doesn't include, well, a couple of things, doesn't include LinkedIn messages and WhatsApp and SMS, those activities that are on contacts or um, deals. And it also doesn't include meetings because it's only completed activities. Whereas if I go to meeting outcomes, you can see here, we've got lots of meetings with no value on the outcome. That's because no one marks meetings as completed. So it's never going to turn up in this report. So they kind of like this layout of the report. They want to see activity across their sales team. I mean, this is just our internal uh, report, but they're not getting it all. So to get to this report, I'll just show you how we create it. It's going to be a custom report. Set of contacts, I'm just going to scroll to the top and go to activities. I could have scrolled down into sales activities here, but I'll just go there. I'll just go next. And we're going to create a bar report. Uh, and we'll need a few things count of activities, who it's assigned to, and the type. Uh, but before I even create it, I'm also just going to say the date. And we might say the date is, we'll come back to today. I'll show you that in a second. But let's say it's just the last 30 days. I'll scroll down here, last 30 days. I just want you to note this previous 30 days before today. So it's last 30 days prior to today. We also usually want to include today so I'll just bring that over and just choose is today as well and then I just have to change this because if it says all you're essentially doing an and join we want to make that an or join so I'll switch to any okay so that's our field out now let me gun pack here what do we want the y-axis to be that's who it's assigned to that's the person in the team x-axis is going to be the count of the activities activity type is how we'll break it down and that's how we get this graph i'll just give that a second to refresh and then if i hover over you can see it's got all the different activities the only thing i like to do i just don't like the legend being up the top so i go to chart settings i just move that underneath that's just my personal preference you could change the color palette and all of that as well if you want whatever floats your boat but that's it that's pretty much it and then we can save the report and add it to a dashboard for them so that's the last 30 days you can create them for this month last month the quarter etc and essentially get this so i think we should be doing this for all our clients creating these sales activity custom reports putting them on a dashboard for them just so they don't kind of get a little bit frustrated at how limited the out of the box one is so let me know your thoughts and also suggestions. I'm keen to improve this and get the best reporting for clients. So let me know on Slack whether you've got any yeah uh, suggestions to improve it. Thanks.